Welcome back, everybody, to part two of Amnesia, the Dark Desuuuh. Yeah. So, a couple things to note from the previous episode. One, I'm an idiot. Two, I'm an idiot. And three, I'm an idiot. I saw the lever when I went back and watched my own video to make sure everything recorded properly. I saw the lever, like, half, like, three-fourths of the way into it, so I just wandered around like it did. Anyway, so yeah, I'm an idiot. This is established. And also, I know how to access my inventory now. Yay! So let me, uh... How do I... How do I... Oh, okay. I got some more Lil now, so... Looking pretty good. Uh, my eyes! Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Ah, oh, my eyes! That is a very unpleasant sequence. I just want to establish that. And, uh... Uh, uh, uh yeah, not going that way. Right here. Okay. You do to see. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, I ain't going that way. What? 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 what, what, what. The archives, okay. Oh, is that just another... Can I go that way? Well, it's... that's... Uh-oh. Eat one to bitch. Wait, what, 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 what? I see you! Tender loving care package. Somebody out there does love me! Uh. <clears throat> Alright. You want action. That's what you want. So fine. You want action? I'll give you action. I'm gonna. Look at that jumping action. Can I open this? Oh, hello. Mmm, goodies. I miss Broomy. I miss Broomy. It's. Uh, what the? Huh? Cockroaches. Do they? Do they actually hiss? I don't know. Here was a Ooh, head of oil. Hold on one second. And... <coughs> okay, they're invincible. Mm. What's this? <coughs> oh, it's like the goop in Ghostbusters 2. Oh, it's like a fap noise. <laughs> no. Anyway. <coughs> Stop hissing, you remind me of snakes. <laughs> snakes. It's a snake! Uh, badger, badger. Mm, so I got a door up there, and a door down here, maybe? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, laboratory. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. Is Gretel gonna be? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's Hazel, not Hansel. Hansel and Gretel. Besides, so Gretel's a girl. I was calling Gretel a guy. I apparently don't know my children's stories very well. Huh? But it's there's there's light over here. I'm good. Quick cool. I'll just stand at this light. Oh hey oil. What? What it? Stop that! <laughs> you need a tic tac. Oh, what 
what's over here? Ooh, ooh, have some moldy bread. Wait, how do I launch you? Forgot how I launch. Ah, yes, I remember now. No. Okay, okay, okay. What's what's over here? Ooh, hi, I see you. I see you. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. You are mine. Oop. Oink. Mm. Coincidentally, if you hear that... What, what is this place? Uh, definitely not where I want to be. I know that much. Oh, hey, it's, it's all nice and lit in here. Maybe I do like this place. Hi there. Stop groaning. You're not making anything better for anyone. Especially me. What is that noise? Oh, El Papel. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are strayed or stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. A memento. What we got? Chemical ingredients have been moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. Okay. Fine. What is... What is... Uh, I should probably stop staring at that. I should stop staring Ah, my eyes! Oh, God! Mm, there should be more poop rats. One part aqua force. Oh, ow again! Ow! It's so bright, so bright it burns. It burns the sin out of me. Eh. Uh. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The formal compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are given and wait are a given, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis and hope that it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. La bla bla or you know. Ha <laughs> ha Okay. Uh, oh another scribbling? What's this? Chair! Book it! Oh, no, my eyes! Why did I touch that? One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. You mean when you spank it. As long as I'm able to think of you in a long life together, I know I'm better than the others. You're still spanking it, though. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint. You just lust in general. Or I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. You still fap it, though. Oh, my eyes! Ah! Oh. Wait, I heard another memento thingy. Evidence in the laboratory has revealed that combining four chemicals can create a powerful acid. And then I can get rid of the Ghostbuster goop! Oh boy! Hello, light. Anyone remember that? Ed, Ed and Eddie, you know? Hello, light. Hello, light. Oh, I don't like it down here! Sprint, 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 sprint! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme! Ah! Ah. Oh, wait, I wasn't reading this. Ah, that, screw it. London, Berkeley Square, appropriate, inappropriate, fapping. Okay. So there's a door. What's this? Where does this go? <laughs> it's the vein sailor. Yes, I, it's locked and will not open without a key. Huh? Find the wall. No, you don't see. You don't say. I mean, I totally was just hoping I could just blink and it would be there. Mm. What a pity. I had so hoped. Foolishly optimistic was I. <laughs> What's this? Where do you go? The refinery. Ah! We meet again. 
Note. Organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Looks like a giant booger. It is tough and pliant. It can't be torn by hand or tools. It's a super booger! Okay. Freaking super boogers everywhere. Somebody needs to stop blowing their nose without restraint. So, there's that door. And there's that door, then. I think, isn't there one down here that's blocked off, too? Yeah, but I can't, so it's, I gotta go in here, then. Archives. Yeah. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. To do it? Am I really doing this? Yes, are you? The young boy thought and struck his victim with a rock. Oh, I thought he was... <gasps> no. Uh, that's not normal. <laughs> Let's go in the open room. Let's go in the open room first, then. Seems like a good idea. Oh. El Pape? Stop hissing, you stupid roaches. What the... Nada. Uh, okay. What's this? 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Professor Herbert, eh? Is he Herbert the pervert? Hmm, I say. Some of them boys out there will get no hot for sweaty in the desert. Making me wonder where the paper boys are. They got any good news to deliver. Where's the paper boy? Oh, come on, open up, you son of a... There we go. Just let Herbert in. That's right. It's much easier this way. Okay, that's enough of that. I actually feel like an old lecherous man. And I get the feeling when I go back and listen to myself, it's gonna sound really stupid. Ugh, a pit there. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander... Blah, 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 blah. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander will touch my dirty places. Uh, blah, 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 blah. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm. House of Gigrick. Well, that's nice for you, Willy. Oh, it sounds like somebody is playing a really out of tune violin and just scraping it. Oh, hi there. Hello. What's this? Are you books? I can't even move you. Okay. I see how it is. You don't want to help me? Why can't I be out there? There looks better. I need a change of pants, not clothes, please. You're not helping me, game. Uh, oh, gimme. Uh, what's this? 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Boy, do you only know. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language 
getting to me. You got xenophobia, I man. mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. Daniel's a racist. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. I was totally expecting 5th century. into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Well, how fortunate for me, because I'm not trapped now. Well, actually, I guess now I'm here playing this stupid rat game, so... Uh... Ooh, isn't there... wasn't there another pathway? Back this way? Yeah, see, there's something over here first. What's in here? Uh, big open rooms generally aren't good in horror games. Because it leaves too much possibility, you know? There's always the fear of the unknown and just, you know, bad things happen. That's really dark. Excuse me. Uh... Huh? 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 Uh. Oh, this is where it's going to start to get bad, isn't it? Quit speaking your your jib jab language. Hmm. I'll just draw attention to myself. I'll be a beacon in the dark. Why not? Do your worst. Just leave the hair alone. Not the hair. Uh, uh. Give me that. I hate you, roaches. I hate you so much. You. Uh, how uh, There we go. I got him. I got him. You're not quite broomy, but you'll do. Oh, wait. Open. No. No. Alright. Ah! I don't... Uh, no. Shut that. Uh, uh. Oh, God, my eyes! Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Blah, there it is. Oh, my eyes. Um, oil, please? How do you... Ah, I can double-click it. There we go. Much better. Much better. Okay. What's over here? Ah! Yeah, like that wasn't scripted. Freaking... Son of a... Mm. Oh, tender loving care package. Another note, why not? Ah! What? No! It was a trap! It was a trap! Ah! Ah! X-Wing fighters! May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but oh, I no. managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. No, I don't. No, I don't wanna. Oh, curse you, narration. Oh. Uh. 
Mm. I'm already out of time on this episode. It was waiting for me. You interrupted me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. But I don't want to be drawn to it. I want to throw it away. Oh, it's bright. Let me just click I you up. I reached out, closing it in my hands. Oh god, my eyes! The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. Unlocking alien memories so of bright. spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Oh, my eyes. Which, which way is out? That's out. I'm out of time. I, I've already gone well over on this episode, so I'm going to stop this one here, and especially before bad stuff happens. I think this episode is pretty much going to be narration out the yin-yang. So, okay, bye.